Hello, welcome to jQuery tutorial, chapter 20, jQuery text and HTML methods, brought to you by Angpro Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we are going to learn about the text and HTML methods in jQuery. So, what we are going to do in this session, this session we are going to learn like how do we modify, okay, and examine the text on our HTML page with the help of text and HTML methods. So without wasting much time, let me jump into Visual Studio and let me show you how we work with text and HTML methods. Suppose let me take a paragraph element, with that let me add a content called hello world. So now my objective is I need to fetch the content hello world from this paragraph element and I have to display this content on the alert window. So first I need to identify that element with the paragraph tag with a tag name directly and then I need to call a text method to that selector. So what is this going to return? It's going to return okay, this hello world from this paragraph tag. So let me store it in some variable. The variable name is result. So now I need to pass that variable to result okay now when I do control fi the build is succeeded now it takes me to the Chrome browser you can observe here within the alert window we will get hello world okay this is what the text method is going to return okay the text method is going to return the content from the particular selector here the selector is a paragraph tag so it's going to return that so suppose now what I'll do is I'll take a break line and now I have a due element. Right now within the due element we don't have any text. So now I need to set the text to the, set the text to this due element. So how can I do that? I can do that with the help of this text method. So what I'll do here is first I'll take I need to identify an element with the tag name that is div directly. Then I'll call the text method to the text method I need to pass a string. In the sense what is the content I have to pass to that due. So I'll the content I'm going to pass to this due is sample text. Okay. Let me do control S. Now what I'll do is now I'll go back here and I'll refresh. Now you can observe we'll get hello world. As soon as I click that you can observe within the due. Right now we have sample text. So let us inspect this page. So uh, in the inspection tab here we have the elements and this is your head so let me minimize that let me expand the body you can observe here within the paragraph tag we have hello world that's fine but uh, with the help of jQuery text method we can set the text to a particular element also and that that's what we are doing for the due element okay within the head tag let me expand this script here I'm telling like to the due tag you set the text sample text Okay, with the help of this text method. So in the due tag is passing that sample text as a content to it. So this is what the advantage of using okay, this text method. Okay, it get the combined text contents of each element in the set of matched elements, including the descendants, or set the text contents of the matched element. So that's that's what we learned right now. Like how can we fetch the text from the particular element? And also we learned like how can we set the text to a particular element? Okay, so now let me understand make make you understand the next method that is HTML method so what is this HTML what is going to return so okay it gets the HTML contents of the first element in the set of matched elements or also we can set the HTML contents of every matched element so let me go here so here um, let me erase these things out and let me erase these things also so here what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a paragraph element you're going to tell like ang pro training trains on Xamarin Angular 2 okay then node dot JS so now when I refresh this page okay okay I'm getting this angular training and pro training trains on Xamarin Angular. Now let me make these three things Xamarin Angular node strong with the help of uh, strong tag. So, so let me cut and paste this strong here. So when I do control S, let me refresh. Okay, you can observe very clearly the Xamarin Angular node they are little bold when compared to other text. So now what I'll do is now my objective is with the help of 
text method I'm going to retrieve the text present here this is the text so what I'll do is dollar I define element with the paragraph tag so dot text let me store it in some variable variable is result now let me alert that or uh, okay let me alert that result variable which is uh, which is holding the current result which is holding the current text of the paragraph now when i do control s let me go back and let me refresh here you can observe within we are getting the text which is present within that paragraph tag okay uh, let me refresh it we are getting the text which is present inside this paragraph tag with the help of this text method suppose if i do that to the result one variable if I do that with the help of okay HTML method what it is going to return HTML method now when I over on this you can observe what it does is it get the HTML content of the first element in the set of matched elements so now when I do alert I'm passing that result one control s let me go back and let me refresh you can observe this is coming from the text method and keep in mind you can observe very clearly HTML is not returning only the text it's also returning the tag which is present inside that paragraph tag in the sense it returns the content with the HTML elements also so you can observe very clearly anchor training trains on we are getting the strong tag also that's the specialty of HTML method HTML method is going to return the content as well as the HTML element present inside the particular selector here the selector is okay here the selector is paragraph and HTML method what it does it returns the text okay as well as the HTML elements also so that's the reason when I refresh you can observe within the text text method it only returns the text but HTML method it runs the text as well as the HTML elements okay and now okay now my objective is I need to I need to um, set okay now what my objective is what I need to do is um, I'll take a break line so after that I'll add a paragraph okay now let me remove this now my objective is with the help of HTML method so let me remove this also with now my objective is okay now my objective is with the help of HTML method what I need to do is I need to um, I need to set an HTML within this paragraph tag for example okay you can observe here uh, let me copy this okay now uh, first let me identify an element with the particular selector that is I'm identifying element with the tag directly so what I need to do is I need to call the HTML method with the HTML method I need to set uh, the text okay so here you can observe very clearly so instead of strong I'll go with italic okay let me do control s now with the help of HTML method what I'm doing is I'm setting a text to this paragraph okay keep in mind I'm setting a text to this paragraph but also within that string what I'm passing here we have HTML elements that is I tag so this is what the specialty of using HTML element it not only sets the text to it it also it also executes executes the HTML elements present in it okay now and I do control s we go back and let me refresh you can observe hang pro training trains on xamarin angular 2 and node.js you can observe very clearly the xamarin angular and node.js are itali itali italicized okay are in the italic format okay what html did is it's it set the text here as well as it executed this html elements it applied the styles of this italic tag to the particular content present in between those tags okay that is the advantage of using the html okay uh, this is what the advantage of using the text method and HTML method okay uh, okay right now let me show you something else um, so what I'll do is uh, let me remove this keep in mind uh, to the text method in HTML okay text method uh, what we learned now to that text method we can also pass okay uh, we can also pass a parameter okay in the sense 
to that text method we can pass arguments as a functions okay function as a parameter so let me show you what it is exactly so first what I'll do is first let me take a list uh, let me take a label first let me tell like list of fruits so let me take another list uh, it's apple let me copy and paste let me go with some fruits mango and this is grapes orange so let me copy and let me add a break line here as of now and after that let me take a label again and here let me add list of skills okay now let me take again another list so it's HTML it's CSS it's bootstrap and it's jquery as well now let me go back and let me refresh the page okay here you can observe we are getting a list of fruits uh, and list of skills now my objective is we are getting like it's not ordered now what I need to do is I need to uh, add a ordered list in a sense one should be apple two should be mango three is grapes four is orange fifth is HTML six is CSS seven is bootstrap and eight is jQuery so how do I add numbering to this list so how can I do that uh, it's very simple I can achieve that with the help of text method text method it also takes function as a argument function as a parameter to it so first I need to identify an element so I need to provide numbering to the list element so I'm taking that okay once I do that then I'll call the text method within the text method we can pass a function as a parameter okay this is anonymous function what this function is going to do as of now let me check it out let me um, yeah my objective is I need to set a numbering okay numbers to all this uh, list of fruits and list of skills present here okay and how to achieve that uh, or my objective here is to show like text also takes function as a parameter that's my objective so to this function let me pass parameters so let me take I and let me take a text it's two parameters then this anonymous function is going to return okay uh, initial value of I is 0 now I have to increment it to 1 so after that uh, let me add let me add a dot here such that it looks good then I need to pass that text variable text parameter sorry for that okay now once I'm done with that okay now let me go back and let me refresh okay you can observe very clearly we are getting numberings to this list of things present here one is apple two is mango three is grapes four is orange so if I don't increment this I suppose uh, it, if it is only I what is the output we are going to get okay it takes by default because list index always starts with zero so it's taking that okay if I want to increment it by one it, if it has to start with one I have to increment it by one itself so this is the reason we're getting one two three four five six seven eight by default the index of list element is always zero okay my objective was to show like text method it also takes function as a parameter and we are achieving that okay so what we learned in this session is we learned like how to make use of uh, or how can we examine and manipulate the text on the HTML page with the help of text as well as HTML methods and finally thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to our YouTube channel Ankh Pro Training you can also like our Facebook page visiting this URL you can also follow us on Twitter for further reference refer our websites we're on LinkedIn too last but not the least please don't forget to give the feedback thank you have a great day